sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself. <laughs> <in> All <laughs> right, everyone, How welcome my, my to the Somnium Show. <sighs> We're gonna be talking oh about lucid dreaming and you. And uh, Woofer Blast is gonna be hosting the show today. Woofer Blast, take it away. Camera's on you. Okay. He Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Somnium Show. And as Ultra Lord just told you, we're going to be talking about lucid dreaming. Now, lucid dreaming is when you're having a dream and you suddenly realize that you're having a dream, which sounds simple enough, but it, it doesn't really happen too often. And we're going to talk about that. Uh, Ultra Lord knows a lot more about it than I do, but I'll, I'll start us off. Um, I had a, I have lucid dreams occasionally. I don't have nightmares strangely enough, but I have lucid dreams because I, I wake up and my dream was so cool. I have these wonderful little adventures, you know, this cool stuff's going on. And I wake up and I go, oh no, I want to get back in there. You know, and you're trying to um, recreate the, the scene or whatever, and I never can. You know, <laughs> within about five seconds, you're fully conscious and it's gone. But some people claim to be able to actually control their dreams you know while they they realize they're dreaming and they can control the characters and the, and the goings on in the dream I've never had that happen before so we'll, we'll go around and ask you guys if you've had any experiences like that yeah How tell about us about your wildest horrible? dreams yo guys okay we're mm. gonna be talking about dreaming and dreams life is yo can you guys okay hear, hear, hear me good is my two dollar yes, microphone yeah, suffice? Yeah, yeah. No. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, if you, right. if oh, I you, boosted uh, you. Boost him up, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, yo, okay, right. let's do it. And so, uh, yeah, we'll let, let's all like pass the torch around and talk about our, our dreams. Like, uh, I used to not dream a lot because, like, I recently quit. Like, you know, the torch of of light that we're passing around to each speak to each other, which is uh, universal <laughs> among the races. It's invisible. It's made of light. It's everywhere around you. <laughs> I, I see just uh, the torch. these guys. Yeah, these guys are so like. Maybe we can pass those. Yeah, let's pass them around. That's a good idea. Pass the raptors around. Everyone, grab grab a raptor. No, 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 pass them let's put them to ultra, so we know that he's speaking. Yeah, yo, okay, come, okay, come here, come here, boys. Raptors, come here, come here. Come here. Okay, guys. So Can yeah, um, have yeah. Uh, uh, have what it, what are your thoughts you on? Uh, on dreaming, what kind of uh, amazing? Streaming. Yeah, we're streaming. We're actually live. Hey, Arthur's right, here. Hello. Hey, hey. Yo, let's actually start off with uh, Arthur. Arthur, tell us what's the wildest, uh -oh. most fa uh, fantastical dream that you can remember that really stuck with you and affected you in a positive I way. I have to say, it was a bit of scary one. A scary one. Uh, because because one time I I love to when I can to have a nap during the day. That's so I yeah. Don't. I do it. I don't do it that often because I can't. Turn you up a little bit. But, turn you up a little bit. Oh, turn me up, man. Turn yeah, turn up. up. Turn <laughs> up. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, where was I? Where, where was I? Uh, so, uh, so um, uh, you, you don't have. You're all uh, turning me up, huh? Like <laughs> you're all turning me up, guys. Anyway, um, so I want to say that it was actually pretty scary one because one time, one time when I was in Germany, I, uh, I did, and this music is actually very good for this story. Uh, <laughs> it was around about 13 years ago. It was a sunny day. I was looking, I was playing some computer game. It was, it was, it was Saturday. I was playing computer game. My shades on the windows were shaking slowly because the wind was coming into my room. And I decided it was, a, it was a, such a breeze. It was a summer day. It was a really, really comfortable breathe, and I finished the game of Battlefield 2, <laughs> and I decided I'll take a nap. So I went to my bed, I lay down, and I was looking at those shades moving, and I started to fall asleep, and then I started to feel that my soul is leaving the body, and I was not able to move my arms and i was not able to control so i was kind of like starting to on one hand fall down on the other hand kind of losing control of my body and i got genuinely scared like this 
animal scare of not being able to return back I was really feeling that I'm completely lost I am not feeling the body and I felt like if I would let it go for another 10 or 15 seconds I would never come back and I just jumped out of the bed I, I put my effort to collect all my force to wake up back and I just woke up or like just got up and I just went for a walk because I didn't want to even sit down I just wanted to walk because I felt like if I would let it happen I would just you know never come back that was the scariest moment of this lucid sleeping dreaming I've ever had and I'm not making this up yeah it's it real it's to me and I still remember it it's scary paralysis. Paralysis. Yeah. Arthur, that's incredible Arthur what that, no it it's sleep it's paralysis. Astral projection. It's called sleep paralysis. No, projection. no it's called sleep paralysis. No, it's called astral projection. No, bro, what are you even saying? Fight. Like, that's, that's when the fight. fight. Sleep paralysis. When you leave your body, sits on your chest. No, man, when you leave what? your 